That's right, Kathy. We found some very beautiful scenery here along the South Fork of the American River. Take a look below me and you can see for yourself that swirling whitewater painting a very pretty picture. Some would say two months too soon. At the 5,000 foot elevation level, the snow is melting along the road to Wright's Lake. By contrast, just three weeks ago, there was a healthy snowpack here. And further down the Sierra at 4,000 feet, you can see whitewater rapids along the south fork of the American River, where Mother Nature is attracting plenty of attention. It's just a beautiful day for a drive to get outside. Haven't been up to Tahoe in years, so it's, it's a nice day to get out. Perfect day. A perfect day for soaking up the sun. But some are worried the snowpack is not big enough, especially for water enthusiasts who enjoy boating at Folsom Lake. Whenever there's a nice big snowpack, we know that we're going to be able to boat all summer long and even into the fall. And when there's not, boy, the slowdowns comes really quickly. Speed restrictions have been lifted on Folsom Lake, which is at 117% of the historical average for this date, at roughly 63% of capacity, with more snowmelt on the way. This waterfall at Bridal Falls has become a tourist magnet, attracting people from near and far. It's very beautiful, and it's, we don't see this very often in San Jose, so we had to stop. And you're looking at live pictures now of that rushing water, California snow melt, causing many people to stop on their Sunday drives. But with the calendar telling us that it's only mid-February instead of two months down the road in April, we know we need a lot more snowpack in the weeks and months ahead. Reporting live in the High Sierra, Mike Lurie, KCRA 3 News. But it certainly is very beautiful to look at, Mike. Thank you.